Welcome back guys. We are almost done with this tutorial guys. Not too much to go. So let's create a sketch on this surface here. And I turned off the canvas so I can uh, do this off my head and kind of freehand this. And It's a bit more fun when you do that. So I'm using the line tool and I'm just going to create some uh, interesting um, basic primitive shapes. <laughs> I'm just having fun and you guys can do whatever you want at this point because I'm actually not going off the reference I'm just doing something uh, I think that's uh, pretty cool fun and unique follow this go around here and this is why I love using Fusion 360 because there's so many things you can do and it's so simple you know and that looks pretty good. And we'll use the two point rectangle right about here. Just to get rid of that negative space. And I'm just going to shift select all of these profiles. And then I'll just press pull it inwards. Let's just bring this in right here. Looks good. Make sure it's on cut and hit OK. And that looks good. It's a nice little. Uh, filler piece there. So in the back let's select the buttstock and create a sketch on that flat surface. Now we can use a line tool or we can just use a two point rectangle from this center area to the bottom left and we can use the trim icon to trim off these lines or we actually I'll command Z this and it'll be a good idea just to press pull this inwards. So I'll select the profile and I'll right click press pull and I'll just bring this in just to offset that because it looked too blocky. Now what I'll do is select not this rectangular shape but this area here and create a sketch. And I'll use our circle diameter circle tool here and from this top left corner I'll just create a nice little circle and then I'll actually select it and control C control V to paste a copy of that down here at the bottom left corner right about here and now I'll shift select both of those profiles and I'll do the same here by shift selecting these and right click and I'll press pull and I'll press pull these both uh, going beyond the surface of both of these areas now let's start filling this in so I'll select this surface here inside this circle and create a sketch and I'm going to use this offset tool here and I'm just going to downsize this to somewhere around here and before I do anything else, I will control C to copy this size of the offset so I can repeat it up top. Now that that's done, I'll right click hit OK and I'll press pull this to somewhere about here. I'll leave it at join, and press OK. And I could fill it this now, but instead I'll just cancel this and do the same up above. So I'll select this surface, create a sketch, use the offset select this border and I'll control V the coordinate so it's matching the one at the bottom and I'll press pull this and I'm going to select the surface of this one below so I can reference the height leave it on join press OK now I'll press F to enter fillet mode and I'll select this edge as well as this edge at the same time and I'll just adjust these both to get this shape here that looks pretty good now let's create a sketch again on this surface and I'm going to offset this and I'll bring this somewhere around here that looks really good actually right here and I'll use the line tool and I'll just go from this right corner and just bring it beyond this half and I'll do the same thing above so I'll right click go up to reselect what I just chose hit OK and what I'm doing now is selecting both of these profiles so I can right click press pull and I'm going to press pull this right there so we have a nice little cutout shape now back in the front view what I like to do is just go through really quickly and just fill it everything because like I mentioned earlier in one of the other videos that nothing in real life is 100% sharp you need those subtle details to add to the realism because you don't really notice it when it's there but you notice it if it's not there so let's combine some of these pieces really quick down below let's hit join 
now those are all one one body and also what I'll do is go to split body and really quickly I'll split this body by this uh, y or uh, XY plane and I'll go to the bodies and I'll remove the half that we don't need so everything's flushed and I'm going to be doing this for the rest of the bodies that aren't exactly uh, mirrored pieces so I'll select some pieces here I'll go to the splitting tool choose the XY plane split those and I'll just go through and remove the halves that I don't need as I mentioned this earlier guys I'm going to be mirroring everything over and that's why for a lot of these I didn't do the other half so that's split body and I'm going to split this canister as well so choose my XY plane and I split that now I don't need this half we have a couple of pieces here that I can ignore or I'll just do those as well so let's go to modify split body I'll choose this uh, rear side post and I'll split this right down the middle left click hold to select the XY plane and let's remove this half that we don't need now let's repeat that function we're gonna split this pipe as well but before we choose the XY plane I want to choose this surface down here to split this pipe by that way we can just remove this without having to do it because it's going into it's feeding into something so let's go to create mirror and we're just going to mirror all of these to the other side and let's do them one at a time just to ensure that we don't you know miss anything and we're just going to combine these two together now rinse and repeat go to create mirror I'm going to mirror these to handle and trigger by the XYZ plane and we're going to combine these two halves together and hit join now depending on what we're doing with this model we might not want to combine the trigger together this is something to be uh, mindful of but we will combine the two triggers halves together now we can see that that's all one so let's go to mirror, let's mirror this main body over let's left click hold to select the XYZ plane and this looks really good let's repeat that mirror, select this body here Select the plane by left click holding XYZ or XY plane. <laughs> and we could combine these two together for the buttstock area. And that's the reason why I didn't uh, I didn't combine the half of the main body because I'm going to be creating a pipe for a seam right down the middle for manufacturer details. Because you don't want it to be 100% flush because it's just inaccurate. So we're going to go to create pipe select these lines here create a nice little size and hit OK so we can cut that shape out of and we're just going to repeat this all the way down the line just where we see we need it to be done and we can always control C to copy these parameters so we don't have to keep upscaling and downscaling the pipe we can just right click go up repeat that function select where we want the, uh, the seam to go, the pipe and once we have it we'll just select it and then control V to paste uh, the perimeter and you don't want it to be everywhere, you just want it to be in certain spots so it's noticeable and it's the little details that really count when you're doing a project like this because like I mentioned before uh, you notice you don't notice it when it's there but you notice it when it's not there and that's what separate good models from bad models it's the details that people don't normally see or notice so we're going to go to mirror let's mirror this half of the rear sight post left click select the XY plane and then we could uh, just combine these two so there's no seam
that's pretty much it we'll wrap this up in the next video guys